Hello, my name's Justin Sharp. I'm a teacher from Beale High School. I teach geography. And I want to talk to you today about the earthquake and the tsunami that occurred in the Indian Ocean, where over 150,000 people lost their lives. Many people have talked about that, and it's a terrible tragedy. But what I really want to talk to you about and help you to understand what happened is the physics, the science of what actually happened there, and how this earthquake occurred. What I'd like to talk to you now about is the Earth's crust, how the Earth's crust is made up of lots and lots of different plates, interlocking, colliding against each other, moving apart. It's a theory known as plate tectonics, and it was first put forward by a man called uh, Wegener in, in the 1920s, and for years people didn't trust what he said and they didn't know that they thought he was making it up almost. But I just want to explain that it is true and I want to explain how it works for you here today. The way I want to explain this is using an egg and something we call egg tectonics. An egg is similar to the earth, it has lots of different layers. The top layer here that you can see is the shell. The shell if you want to crack your egg after you've, you've boiled it and you've cooked it, it's formed of lots of little plates here. And you can see these plates, they move, they can move together, they move uh, independently, they slide past each other, some of them. Some of them don't move at all. And this is exactly what it's like underneath the Earth, uh, on, on the Earth's crust, deep down under oceans, deep down under, under mountains. This is what occurs. Now, if I push two parts of the egg together, they form small mountains. The plates move against each other. What do you think is going to happen on the other side of the egg? Now, I want you to think about this. The egg has got the one surface area. We've not taken any eggshell away. We've not added any eggshell anywhere. So what's going to happen around the other side of the egg? I'll let you think about that for a minute. OK, let's think and see if you guessed what happened on the other side of this egg now. Did you guess? Well, some of you may have guessed that, in fact, what you've got on the other side of the egg is the egg white, where the egg shell has moved apart and, and to form those mountains. Remember, on the other side, on this side, we've got egg white. Now, if this was really the Earth, what you'd get is lava and magma coming up in those spaces and moving the plates further and further apart. Some places they moved apart, some places they move together, some places they slide over each other, and some they come together and they form mountains. 